So today, Android subsystem was released for Windows 11. In my head, I just said Windows 10, but nope, Windows 11. And the easy, simplistic way to get to it is to go into settings, Windows update, go to Windows Insider program, and set this thing to developer. Okay, so dev channel. Don't worry, we're not going to go and update Windows. We're gonna go and update the Windows Store. So after that's done, you're gonna head in here, you're gonna to go to library and you're gonna hit get updates. That's gonna grab the newest updates for the Windows Store. And of course, it's gonna install this newest one. So make sure you have, um, how do I check the build number of this thing? Well, it will be the newest one. And once it's done, it will say Microsoft Store Preview, all right? Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is search for Windows Subsystem for Android with Amazon Store, okay? And install it. It will ask you to go through a couple of steps, so on and so forth. I will edit that part in, of course, because I did record it. And after that's done, you reboot. And once you get back in, this will work and you can start everything up. Now, I'm gonna hit open. And of course, it's gonna open this really crappy thing. I hate this, but what we really want is this one. In here, we're gonna hit continuous. That will give us better performance, okay? And we're gonna enable developer mode because that will enable the ability to access ADB. This will give us the ability to sideload applications. Nice, right? You are gonna enable virtual, uh, v you're gonna enable VT for both AMD and Intel to be able to use this. And after all of that's done, well, we're gonna grab ABD or ADB. If you don't know what that is, that allows you to sideload apps um, directly into your Android thing. So we're gonna go to platform tools and you can easily Google this. Don't worry, as you can see, I, I installed a ton of applications today. You're gonna hold down shift, right click and open in terminal window. Now, this is not scary. The only thing you're gonna install is F-Droid store, okay? So dot slash ADB and you're gonna type devices, all right? It's not gonna show anything. And what we're gonna type next is dot slash ADB space connect space 127.0.0.1 and then of course the port. Once you're connected to this, how you install applications is this. Install dash R and the application name. So F droid. Oh, that's not it. And then dot APK. Now, if it finds an application like that, it's going to automatically install it. Then you type this. Well, technically this. And that will open up the store for you. Now, to give you a store, we're going to find Aurora. Okay? And it's right here. The Aurora Store, a Google Play Store client. This is an open source version of, Aurora, of the Google Play Store. Since Google Play does not work on this yet, this is the one that we're going to go with. Install it, run it, set it up the way it needs to be set up, and there you go. You have a way to install applications. And boom, welcome to the store. This way we bypass Amazon because Amazon's store is a pile of garbage and it's not available in all countries yet, which is a major problem. Now, there are a few applications which are a bit sketchy, and to fix the sketchiness, you need to install a better driver. I installed the 5.10.06 driver. This is meant for WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux, and this allows you to have better 3D acceleration overall and have everything be nice and smooth. Now, if you don't want, just want a store and you actually want a launcher, you can install the Microsoft Launcher. Now, of course, we all know about launchers, and uh, this one's quite broken, in fact, but it still lets you launch applications. Uh, actually, wow, it's extra broken right now. I didn't realize how broken it became. My big suggestion is that you actually use... Oh, no, it's because I opened up you. Go away. Is you use the Nova Launcher. 
right here, Nova 7. And this will allow you to have much better control over your applications, such as Netflix, whatever, whatever you're trying to run. Now, uh, some emulators run at full speed, some don't. Uh, applications like Discord run fine. Citra decides to close, or it did the last time I tried it. Now, what I want to do is we need to have a way to open up and send files inside of this uh, system because it's closed off and it's very hard to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go grab a ROM um, for Citra here real quick. So we're going to grab, what are we going to grab? I don't know. Let's just grab this one. We're going to copy that. We're going to go to downloads and we're going to put this right here inside of platform tools. Okay. And we're going to hit paste. Once it's done copying in here, we're going to go into the windows terminal like this. And we're going to do dot slash ADB and we're going to push that into and what we're pushing, of course, is the name of the file. So we're going to right click this and we're going to copy the name and it's a 3.3ds file. So we're going to paste that here. Uh, 3ds and we're going to send that into slash SD card slash download. OK, but there's a problem you have to rename the file. So we're gonna just call this Zelda. Okay, that's it. Because it doesn't do good with spaces and I don't feel like getting super complicated. So instead, we're just gonna push Zelda. Now it's gonna give you percentage of sending. And I know this is probably very complicated for most people, but once you get used to ADB, it's very easy to send things forth and to install things or sideload things. So there's a lot of apps that don't work. There's a lot of apps that do work, but nonetheless, this should be very easy for you to do once you learn all the commands. And there is some slight 3D acceleration. So if we close Citra down and we open it back up, and I believe I can set the game folder again, Let's like this, the game folder. Oh, I messed up. See, I tried to send it. Well, actually, it should have gone in here. Select directory and boom. Of course, it's going to instantly crash because there's no way in hell I'm going to run this uh, while using this app. Yeah, see, it's not going to do it. But the point is we got files in here and that's pretty much it. We go to graphics. Can we run anything? Can we change anything to make it work? No, we can't. Dolphin does work and runs games. Uh, RetroArch is a pain in the ass currently. I don't know how to get a controller working inside of this thing. But when you have something like this, you have the ability to access settings, so networks, uh, apps, accounts, you name it. You have access to it. So I showed you how to sideload apps. Uh, I showed you how to turn on developer mode. I showed you how to use ADB and everything else you should be pretty good and set up just by all of that uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and share the video and that still doesn't work it's a work in progress this is a beta all right not everything is going to work you guys need to understand that just like opening this will instantly crash but opening iHeartRadio will work in a nutshell it's missing a lot of stuff so don't have any complaints. This is pretty great for just starting off. Oh, Minecraft's like pretty much full speed. Anyway, hit that like button, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.